gentlemen, I must be permitted to say that I have been almost overwhelmed by the announcement of the sad event which has so recently occurred. I feel incompetent to perform duties so important and responsible as those which have been so unexpectedly thrown upon me. Good president like Abe. Hey yo, shut the hell up. Recharge the Freemans Bureau. Yeah. Pass. President Johnson. Sir. And apparently, Johnson vetoes. Vote to overrule. Overrule. Why can't I ever get anything I want? Never! Well, 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 where are we going, Johnson? <laughs> Not now, Stan! <laughs> no! <laughs> March 3rd, 1865. Enact to establish a bureau for the relief of freedmen and refugees. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled that there is hereby established in the War Department to continue during the present War of Rebellion and for one year thereafter a Bureau of Refugees, Freedmen, and Abandoned Lands to which shall be committed as here and after provided. The supervision and management of all abandoned lands and the control of all subjects relating to refugees and freedmen from rebel states or from any district or county within the territory embraced in the operations of the army under such rules and regulations as may be prescribed by the head of the bureau and approved by the president. Hey y'all, welcome to the Freedmen's Bureau. Y'all boys need some supplies? Why, why yes sir, some supplies would be, would be wonderful, thank you. Alright, well... Here's this blade of grace. Whoa. Take some of these peanuts right here. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. And thank you. God bless here's his cookbook. Oh, thank you. Please, sir. Might I have just one more blade of grass? Yes, that's true. More or less. No. More is less. Thank you, sir. This organization can't do nothing. That Edwin Stanton guy pisses me off. I should really consider getting rid of him and all of the other despotic Republican cabinet members. Be it enacted that every person holding a civil office to which he has been appointed by with the advice and consent of the Senate shall be entitled to hold such office until successor has been in like manner appointed and duly qualified except herein otherwise provided. The Secretaries of State, of the Treasury, of War, of the Navy, and of the Interior, the Postmaster General, the Attorney General, shall hold their offices respectively for and during the term of the present by whom they have been appointed by, and for one month thereafter.
subject to removal by and with the consent and advice of the Senate. And if you don't pass the Tenure of Office Act, you're nothing but a dim-witted income poop. Pay us! Oh no. Oh yeah! Hey, Stan. You're fired. No! Hey, get out of here right now! No! Get out here! No! no. Yeah, Stan did! An opportunity has presented itself. Johnson has violated the Tenure of Office Act. Let's get that Good eats. Johnson? Not this time. Get it together. May God forbid that the future historian shall record of this day's proceedings, that by reason of the failure of the legislative power of the people, the triumph over the usurpations of an apostate president, the fabric of American empire fell and perished from the earth. I ask you to consider that we stand this day pleading for the violated majesty of this law by the graves of half a million of martyred hero patriots who made death beautiful by the sacrifice of themselves for their country, the constitution and the laws, and who, by their sublime example, have taught us all to obey the law, that none are above the law, and that position, however high, Patronage, however powerful, cannot be permitted to shelter crime to the peril of the Republic. The chair now recognizes Mr. Charles Sumner. <clears throat> President Johnson. Mr. Sumner, I apologize for forgetting my cane. Your plethora of high crimes and misdemeanors will finally come to an end. You are being an obstructionist to our legislation and have violated the Tenure of Office Act by your firing of Secretary of War Edwin Stanton, who happens to be enjoying his extended stay in office. But that isn't the real reason why we've impeached you. The real reason is that you're a prick, and we don't like you. <coughs> oh, Gentlemen, I think that's grounds for conviction. Guys, the results are in. And we are one vote short of conviction. Yay. As newly freed slaves, I feel it is our privilege, mm -hmm. no, our mm -hmm. obligation, 
to vote for the president of this country. Yeah, yeah. We don't take kindly to your type around here. No, no, no. Hey, you heard about that 15th Amendment? The right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Yeah, I, th I reckon I have. We don't take kindly to your type. Oh! Darn you, slaves. Call us radicals, told me if you trying to get some slaves, you ain't being ethical. Austin has got his cane and his back will never break. For this life you pay a price, you get a chance, you gotta take it. Cause the slaves will never make it, they stranded on the run. Frederick Douglass tried to free them, but all they got is shun. I was riding on my horse's back, hoping I could make it out. Preaching peace while heading east, avoiding them right down the street. Way back in the day before I had all of this power, for I had I love these haters, for I knew I love these cowards Now I remember when I seen it, and to me it was stunning I remember when he bought him, didn't need him or nothing Even in the different states, they still label him a slave He ain't come about the state, he's from straight up out the A Now everywhere he go, they probably send him back cause he's black Now everywhere he go, they ask how strong he is with his back So I'm passing these amendments for the ones who really need it Saying damn those southern damn just Sign it and embrace it. Now let's abolish it Man, let's abolish it Let's abolish it Man, I'm that he is Man, let's abolish it Let's abolish it Let's abolish it Man, I'm that he is I'm that he is Riding down the street, the way I veto is unique DC holding on to me, so repubs turning up the heat Dividing up the south, I can't stop their street The demons wanna get that power, I'ma get impeached Always in the congress every day and standing looking I'm just drafting progressive laws and trying to stay away from crooking Yeah congress overriding vetoes had to make it known And they wanna go impeach me but legality was shown Now I remember when I seen it and to me it was stunning I remember when he bought him, didn't need him or nothing Even in the different states, they still label him a slave He ain't come up out the state, he's from straight up out the A Now everywhere he go, they probably send him back cause he's black Now everywhere he go, they ask how strong he is with his back So I'm passing these amendments for the ones who really need it Saying damn those southern dams, just sign it and embrace now it Now let's abolish it Man, let's abolish it Let's abolish it. Man, I'm bad at it. Man, let's abolish it. Let's abolish it. Let's abolish it. Man, I'm bad at it. I'm bad at it.